Hey everybody, welcome to Anyscale Modern and Painting. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial uh, slash how-to video on how to customize your Hot Wheels cars. Uh, in this video in particular, I'm going to be covering a Rutherford Logistics one, so a military type vehicle. And in this video, I will show you sort of the uh, the mods that I used, how to do certain things, uh, and then I will go through all the colors I used as well. So I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope it helps. The car I'm going to be using in this video is a Hot Wheels car and it is a Humvee. Uh, this is pretty much the car out of the pack. I have taken some of the paint off. I think this was the Dino Riders version. And I've made a slight modification on the inside because it was uh, a sort of full green, um, you know, clear um, piece of plastic for the windows. But this particular piece is going to get in the way when I come to put sort of a wire mesh on the inside. So I just took a, a Stanley knife and cut that down. Uh, but I had to leave the two uh, green bits in the middle just to give it something to stick to once it goes down um, and obviously you can see through parts of the car if those bits are missing uh, so that's the basic car um, and I am going to be putting some armour on it as well so I'll go ahead now and show you how to do that So for the armour I used a 1mm plastic card from a local hobby store and I think it was about £2 for the sheet uh, so it's a relatively cheap way of doing it. You can obviously go out there and buy uh, your sort of resin ones or your 3D printed ones um, but this allows you to sort of create your own shape per car and stuff uh, so you're not sort of having to modify the car to the armour. This way you can, you can make the armour fit. Um, I put a slight bevel on them as well just so they're not quite as... Um, in your face a bit more smoothed uh, smoothed over to the car and stuff and I've done uh, all around I've done the front and side windows um, but yeah just have a play around with it I'm much happy uh, with the way it looks um, you can obviously stick them on now or well, the next step I'll quickly show you before I stick them on is um, how I create the mesh on the inside <laughs> So for the mesh on the inside, I bought a selection off eBay. Um, I think it's coming kind of a set of three. The one you can see now is the big one, which is slightly out of scale for Gaslands cars, um, but it would work well for sort of gangways and stuff on, you know, more for your scenery type of thing. Um, this is the smallest one they do. Um, and uh, it's great for molding. It's really bendable. Uh, so yeah. Basically, just cut a piece uh, to the size you need. Uh, and once you're happy with that, bend it into shape. Uh, and you can obviously stick it. With the Hummer, it's quite um, it's quite square, so you do have to fold it over uh, to create the shape. But obviously, most cars are sort of rounded. Uh, and I will go into that in another video when I obviously get a, a car body to fit. But basically, it's as simple as it looks. Just cut a piece to size, sort of bend it to get as much surface area attached to the inside of the thing quick dab of super glue and it's jobs are good uh, quite a simple step really easy and I think them pack of three were like three four pound I think not you know not too much uh, but yeah that's that step done uh, I'll move on to the next one Thank you. 
So the next step is to apply your armor. So that just to get yourself some super glue. Uh, for this, I use a cocktail stick just to sort of neatly apply it. Uh, so you know, try not to get as much as, as little glue as you can onto the uh, the part of your miniature where you're not going to see. Um, and yet, simple as you know, simple step. Just glue it over. Once you're happy with the uh, the way it's glued and you're happy with it, move on to the next step. Uh, for my next step, I'll show you what sort of modifications I put on it. Uh, sort of armor and such um, so yeah we'll move on to that step and I'll show you what I did So once your armor's been glued on, uh, it should look a little bit like this. And as you can see, it's a pretty heavily armored uh, military vehicle. So it fits the uh, Rutherford Logistics build pretty well. Uh, and the mods that I'm gonna be using on this are from Green Miniatures. They are gonna be uh, an, a sort of an inventory box. So I'm gonna have some supplies on the back. And I'm gonna use a turret set one. Um, and I'm gonna have the sort of the big turret. So I'll show you how that goes on. Um, but yeah, just watch the rest of the videos and see how it was done. So one of the next steps, um, just to add a bit more detail to the turret, uh, I went ahead and created my own turret hatch uh, using the same plastic card as I did for the armor. Um, I just got a triangular file just to sort of file a groove in the middle just to split the turrets, put a couple of handles on as well. Uh, and then just basically super glued it on. That's most of the stuff I've added. You will notice in a later stage that I did add a twin uh, minigun to the front and I did put an aerial on the back uh, just as a bit of a sort of a command radio, I suppose. Um, so that's basically all the modding I did. There is one final step I'll go on to show you now, uh, where I put a few bullet holes in it. Um, so I'll move on to that next step. Uh, you can see how we did that. This is the final modification step and I'm going to show you how I put some bullet holes in the back and for that you're going to need a pin vise with uh, a drill bit, whichever drill bit you decide. This is quite a small drill bit. Um, and the key was, is when you do your bullet holes, is to drill uh, into the thing but try not to go through. Um, you know, and just drill your hole as you can see. And then the, the next step on that is just to create like a bit of, um, sort of a bit more damage or steel splintering off the, the armour is to get yourself a hobby knife uh, and just cut cut sort of on a 45 degree angle 
onto the hole uh, and then flip the knife over and cut in um, the opposite way to make sort of a V groove. Uh, just adds a bit more detail as you can see uh, when it's all painted up and stuff. Um, but that said, this step is optional. Um, I see most cars and gas lads would have bullet holes, so it's, it's just another option for you. Um, but yeah, that's basically all the modification done. Uh, so once you're done, uh, just give it a quick prime and you're good to go. So once you've done all your uh, modifications um, and it's primed, uh, it should look a bit like this. And as you can see from the bullet holes there, uh, that's the effect that it gives. Uh, it still comes apart at this point, just uh, for easy painting. Um, and the next color after that I used was a base coat of uh, Russian green from Vallejo Model Air. Uh, it's post-apocalyptic, so you can go pretty much whatever color you want. I sort of try to stick to a military theme. I know he is a military bloke. Um, so I've sort of gone your greys, greens, browns, etc. Uh, but if you wanted to paint a pink one, uh, there's nothing to stop you from doing that. Um, and I'm not going to go into too much detail on how it was painted. I'm just going to go through colours um, of what I used. And in this particular one, I used uh, two model colours from Vallejo as well. And they were chocolate brown and grey green. Um, they're basically the colours for the camo. Like I said, these are just sort of ideas that you can use or uh, do yourself. Um, but I'll just go ahead now and show the additional colors I used. So once you can finish with the camouflage, I've gone around and put some additional colors on. I've gone for German gray for the tires, uh, a weaponry, a few little bits on this wooden crate here, aerial, um, and basically just anything you need a dark color. Uh, as you can notice by the bullet holes, I've just put sort of a gunmetal metallic in there and around the edges just for a bit more detail uh, I've got some red jerry cans on the top and just on the red uh, top to the brake lights there oh, also the lights at the front I've mixed up an orange uh, for the indicators and I've just put a white grey in there for the uh, headlights and also with them um, I've just gone over a sort of a I think I don't know what it was, I think it was an army paint I think monster brown uh, for the crates there um, and obviously it's glued together now so it's a solid solid piece now so I'm going to stick uh, a couple of washes on there so I'll uh, show you how to do those next well that's the video drawn to a close uh, from the previous step I have just applied a quick uh, strong tone wash over the entire model uh, just to add a bit more detail and I did dry brush a bit of gun metal over the gun barrels as well uh, at this stage you can go on now further and put your own uh, sort of weathering on your dust and all pigments and stuff uh, but this is where I'm going to leave it for now until I decide a bit more you know a bit more detail to go on them um, but as always if you like the video like it if you've got any questions comments or any ideas for future videos just pop it in the comments below and, and I'll get back to you and also if you like the channel subscribe also, you can support me on my Patreon page for as little as $1 a month. Uh, and in you doing so, will just help me create more content and help the channel grow. But as always, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you again next time.